What's up, Scrappy peeps? Now, I hope you're ready. Get some food, get some chocolate, because welcome to the hashtag slow mo no disaster. Holy guacamole. Get ready for it because uh, this is my biggest fail video ever and it's a bit of an entertaining one. So for this scrap stash Saturday where I use my scrap box to create a scrapbook layout, I decided to scrap this photo of me inside a giant bean bag and this was when we went camping for my birthday and I decided to pretend I was a baby bird in the middle of a nest because that's what I felt like because I was slightly stuck in this giant bean bag. So what I've got is I've got that happy birthday. Um, it's a cut apart from the crepe paper confetti collection. So it's a bit of an older scrap that I think I used the rest of the cut aparts on that page, but never got around to using the happy birthday one because I didn't have a birthday thing to scrap. So I decided to layer that on top of, this is actually, I think it's some, is it some L Studio packaging? It's some sort, or is it, it's packaging from some stamp set that I had. Who is it by? I'm not quite, oh no, it's a Fancy Pants one. No, I don't know. It's a stamp set packaging and I'm laying that on top of some cat's paper. Now the great thing is, you don't know that they're cats. I felt a little bit bad because I was actually just using the cats for their color and not for their cuteness factor. But that's the great thing about scrapping with your scraps because you don't need to worry about what patterns they are. You can just get the tiniest little bits and just use them for their color and exploit them for their beautiful tones. So here I'm actually using an old used baby wipe. Yep, using a baby wipe in a layout because it's long dried by now um, and I just love the colors in it and it just adds a bit of a soft dimension to the final layout which is quite an interesting layout <laughs> I can't wait for you to get to the part where I fail um, so here I attached it using both double sided sticky tape and glue because you know what why not use all the adhesive everywhere I just don't trust the texture of the baby wipe to hold with just double sided tape so here I decide that the background's being a bit boring. So what I do is I grab my spray bottle, which is just filled with water, and I'm going to spray it all over the cardstock. This is the Basil, Basil. Oh, someone told me in the last video how to pronounce it and I've forgotten. Basil, Basil, marshmallow cardstock. And I added some water first and then just smooshed, just sprayed and smooshed and soaked it all up and some of the purple ran onto it but I didn't care and now I'm just going to dry it. Now this I really do feel like the blue really made this layout in the end. Um, I just wanted something to just brighten it up a little bit. So here I am replacing down all my bits and pieces and I'm using my glossy accents because it's the only glue I've got. <laughs> it's the only wet glue I've got anyway um, and smushing that down now, I really do recommend if you're going to do mixed media stuff, grab yourself. Um, you can even just grab a hairdryer from a local op shop, thrift shop, because it does make scrapbooking with mixed media so much easier because you don't have to wait all of the time. You do have to wait for some things like modeling paste. I do, if I do use that on a scrapbook page, I do tend to wait um, because it doesn't dry completely inside. It takes a very long time. So here I'm using the number scrap of paper. It could be from a Studio Calico paper pad from like a year or two ago. Not quite sure where that's from. Uh, and I'm just attaching that to a, the glassine bag that I've got there that I've already punched a shape out of. But quite conveniently, I can cover it up. I really do enjoy scrapping with my scraps. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's any particular things you'd like to do with my you'd like me to do with my scraps um if there's like a particular thing like if you want showing like hidden journaling or multiple page layouts or more diy embellishments using scraps whatever you like i will make it just let me know in the comments below adding a little bit of that word do i no a bit of navy oh that was that delicious paper from the dear lizzie serendipity that i hoarded forever and I think this is my last tiny, tiny little piece. I love that paper. 
lots of sticking down. So anyway, how have you been? How are you enjoying the marathon? What are you looking forward to in the Inky June Marathon? So I've got a video every day. If you've just stumbled upon this video, maybe just in your recommended and you don't know who I am, I'm Adele and I'm Inky Quill. And I do a whole range of videos. I do scrapbooking. I do, I have another channel as well, if you don't know. Um, I have another channel called Let's Get Inky where I do art journaling and I get a bit messier. This is my kind of cleaner channel, but you wouldn't know by the state of my desk. <laughs> um, but yes, so this is a scrapbooking mixed media, barely kind of video. I don't really call this much mixed media because it's just a spray. I like, it is mixed media, but in my head, it's not. <laughs> so I'm just adding down that layering cluster. And a lot of people have asked for advice on how to do layering. I just kind of, I always start with either one or two layers of paper that are like mats to the photo. So they're the same proportion all the way around the photo. I just tend that, uh, I find that that tends to lead like people's eye to the photo, leads my eye anyway to the photo. Um, and then I usually kind of go for a bit of a balancing. So I'll do a tall one and then an across layer, if that makes sense. So a vertical base layer and then a horizontal base layer so that floral is delicious and it's from um, a planner society kit that I got and then I just punched that little heart out myself using my very 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 special and very dear to my heart <laughs> see what I did there I'm so punny very dear to my heart heart punch that I got from Lingcraft a while ago and that little hello I had made that using is that one using the diamond press? I think it was. I made quite a few embellishments using the diamond press and you can have a look at the video linked up down below if you want to see that. And I just wanted a little cluster down the bottom because at this point I was almost finished. Yep, look at the length of the video, peeps. It's not almost finished, is it? That's because the disaster is coming up in approximately two and a half minutes. <sighs> Pause the video, comment below. What do you think the disaster is? It's called the slow-mo no disaster because in my, I actually out loud went no as it happened. <sighs> but we live and learn, don't we? We live and learn. And I'll tell you what I learned after you see the disaster. So here, I just picked up these beautiful Heidi Shine, uh, Heidi Shine, <laughs> Heidi Swap um labels from spotlight recently and they're really really sweet but the thing about them is is that i like them so much that i'm being a bit cheap and cutting some of them in half so that i get twice as much use out of them but they're really sweet they're all my colors you know the turquoise the pinks the blacks the golds um and they just suit this page perfectly this page it was good that the, the bean bag was brown. It didn't, there wasn't really a color scheme. So I just went for my traditional turquoise and pinks. <coughs> Poor little Arwen is next to me. Still got a flu, haven't you? Mm. Yes, yeah. it's not going away. Coffee. Yeah, he's very coffee. Um, not so, the good kind. <laughs> not the good kind of coffee, the bad kind of coffee, the <coughs> coffee. So the disaster's coming up in one minute. Here I am adding what I think are the final touches to the layout. Little enamel dot here, little flower cluster there. Going to add my title. It's all lovey-dovey at this point. Oh dear. Please let me know at the end of this video in the comments below what your biggest scrappy disaster has been because this by far is mine. And I think I saved it. I really do. I hope you haven't fast forwarded it just so that you can see the disaster and are not watching the rest of the awesome process. Smack on the wrist for those people who have. Um, so I'm adding my gold letters. It's all going smoothly. These are one of my favorite gold thickers. They're like a foam, but they have a gold foil on top of them. And I think, ah, oh, the layout is complete. It's time, it's time to add some splatters. So I grab my brand new bottle of gold Heidi shine brand freaking new give it a little shake 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 your Heidi shine but alas 
the splats go on and then boom no yep let's just pause for a moment of silence what have i done so immediately my first reaction is to pour that sucker off but it looks like a big splodge so then i think i'm gonna dip the layout in the leftover honey shine and then swish it around it'll be fine and in the end it does kind of look cool it does look like i've meant to do it if you didn't realize you wouldn't know so it just kind of adds a bit of shimmer to the top in a in a giant splodge luckily it didn't get on my face in the photo and then I decide to even it up. Let's just smush the whole freaking bottom of the layout in there too. <laughs> oh, I was so stressed at this moment. You can't even imagine. And look at all of that wasted Heidi shine. But, yep, there it is. All wasted. I think I, do I get my little use it up art journal? I might. Um, I tried mopping it up with paper towel. Didn't work. And then here we go. I get my use it up paint art journal and I just smush it. Use up that gold Heidi shine. Use it up. Use it up. And I will one day make that into a gorgeous layout. So that's my tip. If you have a spill, don't stress. Grab a spare bit of cardstock, a spare bit of paper, whatever you have. And there's your next background. It's okay. Now this gold Heidi shine has since been very carefully used I I'm extremely careful and I thought at this point why not add some more gold Adele because it doesn't have enough gold already said no person ever and then I think oh I'm going to hold on to this navy color shine while I splatter it this time so that we don't have the same problem because navy Heidi shine isn't as forgiving as the gold so now I figure I'm already in this far why not add some more embellishments so I grab some wood veneer, I think there's some little wood veneer hearts that I add up the top and down the bottom just to even it out. And in the end, I do really like this layout. It's not my favourite of all time, just because I know it's history. But I think if someone was looking through my album, they wouldn't realise the giant disaster that was the slow-mo no disaster. So I added a little arrow because I felt like because there was all of that gold at the top, the Stay Comfy title was kind of blending a little bit as much as bright gold foiled <laughs> titles can which is not very much and what am I adding here some more hearts I had to hold down that arrow for a little while because it was over a few different layers of um, paper and foam and it wasn't quite staying there and then I think at this point I also burnt my finger using the heat gun because my hand was still there and that hurt as well <laughs> It just, look, it just wasn't a successful scrappy event, but that's okay. I had to keep it to show you guys. I could have easily deleted it, but that's what I'm all about. Inky Quill is real live scrapping. I don't, you know, I don't cut out the bits where I have disasters. You need to see it so that you realize that we're all the same. We're all just experimenting. We're all just having fun, sticking bits of paper on top of other bits of paper and it's a hobby it's not life and death and you've got to laugh at yourself so then the happy birthday was some of the parts the gold Heidi shine was quite um, thick over the letters and you could still see what it said easily but I was being a fuss pot and it wasn't the same tone of black if that makes sense so I just did grab a I think this is just a normal black felt tip pen that I had on my desk and I do go over the happy birthday just to make sure that it stands out because it was irking me that it wasn't all the same it just looked like it was blending in too much so there we have it the giant disaster that was let me know in the comments below what your biggest scrappy disaster has been I did post this um, I did post that I had a bit of a disaster a few weeks ago when this actually was filmed and I, there were some great responses in my group, Scrapaholics Anonymous, about um, people with glue going everywhere and bits, thing, things getting stuck and sewing through multiple layers of paper and clothes and uh, some very funny things. So 
Let me know in the comments below that I'm not the only one that's had a scrappy disaster. I really love this cluster down here. I think it's lucky that the Heidi Shine didn't spill everywhere. So you can see it just looks uh, very experimental, very, um, very free flowing. <laughs> <laughs> and when the light hits it, it is beautiful to catch that gold tone. It's just, it just wasn't as I planned. It wasn't as clean as I originally planned. So thanks for watching everyone. And I will be back tomorrow with a video and the next day and the next day and the next day after that. Naughty Heidi Shine. You go straight to your bedroom without any dinner. Yeah, that's the Heidi Shine walking away. Ah, oh, dear. You've got to be silly sometimes. You really do. Life's too serious. Adults, life's too serious. Adulting's too hard. you got to laugh at your dropped Heidi Shine every once in a while. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!